You know it's gonna be a new recording session when I start off on the title screen, man. Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to more Metal Gear Rising Revengeance! Blind. So, we completed the, well, first official, you know, level last time, so this time we're gonna do the second official level. Which I hear gets pretty hard from a couple of friends, but, you know, we'll see. Also, um, I've learned, well, basically learned the gist of how to, well, block enemy attacks or guard against them. And kinda sort of the gist how to do the Zendatsu technique. So, yeah, I learned those, like, off screen. I just looked them up and, like, I know how to do them. So, maybe that will help me out as I play through the second level here. So, let's go. So, you've got some kind of disguise lined up, right? Yep. All set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. Yeah. Well, just get into the sewer system ASAP. Hopefully anyone who notices you will just mind their own business. You sure you want the K-9000 there along for this one? I had the good doctor make some adjustments along with the repairs. Remote piloting and AI wiping have been disabled. So yeah. I say let's throw him a bow. Wordplay. My exoskeleton resembles a canine. Canines enjoy bones. I'm <laughs> using on two levels. Let's go. It's right. I'm in the sewer system. All right, let's get started. Your mission's to investigate the Desperado Affiliated Research Center somewhere in that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI, they're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. <sighs> this just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection, sneak into the lab, and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. Well, we'll see. Do we have any idea what kind of research they're doing there? Not really. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like experimentation? It's possible. First things first, though. Find a way into that lab. Oh, right. It says here the locals say black crocodiles live in those sewers. So, you know, uh, watch out. <laughs> black crocodiles? Could they be talking about UGs? Maybe just an urban legend. But still, be careful. I will scout ahead. You will provide backup. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Commence operation. Okay, first of all, first of all, ride in into sombrero. Ride in into sombrero, though. That's awesome. Second off, um, now I guess we have Blade Wolf on our side, even though he exploded. Or maybe it's just a new Blade Wolf. I don't know. 
but uh, third, right in, in a sombrero. <laughs> okay, so... Ooh, we got Wolf on the Kodak. Okay, that's cool. Um, basically, at the beginning of every one of these levels, um, I'm going to try to at least talk to one of these guys just to see what they have. So, Courtney, you are on the uh, team. Let's see what you got. I can't believe Dolzai have blew himself up. Pretty common terror tactic. You don't usually see the leaders doing it, though. It's one thing to get your flock pumped up on the glory of dying for the cause, but it's not often they actually go through with it themselves. You gotta have a public face, after all. The guy who gets to claim responsibility on the evening news. In a weird way, Dolzai have showed some serious dedication. Not that I'm about to praise him for it. Yeah, still a terrorist. A suicide bomber in the end. If that's what you want to call him. Still, he kind of failed at it. How so? Well, all that explosion did was put a dent in Abkhazia's budget. More Russia's, really. They're the ones rebuilding the refinery. The coup didn't work out. He couldn't overthrow the government. He was barely a blip on Russia's radar. So, you're saying the bombing didn't accomplish any of his goals? He did it just because he was cornered? Sounds more like just plain suicide. Yeah. Probably wanted to end things with his own hands. Like a samurai committing harakiri. Still not something to be commended for, though. Yeah. Lumping him in with true warriors like the samurai just gives them a bad name. Yeah. That's the kind of thing that I like about Metal, Metal Gear, actually. It's just that, uh... Well, I guess I might as well just customize before we move on with anything, actually. Um, that's kind of like the thing that I like about, uh, Metal Gear Codec Calls, is just that, uh... <laughs> riding in some pair as a background, that's awesome. Ooh, oh, unique weapon. You get... Pole Arch... Oh! Okay. Alright, so... Alright. So we get Miss Draw's weapon. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Um, but, uh... Yeah, uh... What I was about to say, actually, uh... Yeah, that's kind of like the thing that I like about Metal Gear. It's just like everyone has something to say about, you know, everything. Like, you know, after every boss encounter, after every cutscene, just just the amount of codec conversations even included, it's just it's just great. It's just really great. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. But uh either way, um actually I think I'm going to upgrade my main weapon. I'm going to upgrade this blade. So that it can reduce the amount of stuff needed for blade mode, as well as absorption. And... I might as well get some, uh, defense, uh, some things. Uh, an update version improves reaction speed with quadriceps. Enable it. Okay. I think I'll get that, actually. Alright, cool. And I don't really... I don't really find the need to have any, uh any of those unique weapons just yet so i'm gonna save them for probably the next level if i can all right here we go here we go we got more fuel cells and we got more stuff for our blade let's do this let's go through sewers because sewer sections in video games are always good. Alright, so let's cut this thing up. And we get more ration. Alright, cool. I'm just going to keep on calling them ration. I don't believe in that whole nano paste crap. Even though this takes place like a few years after Metal Gear Solid 4. And stuff. I don't mind. Oh, hello. Hi, you're new. Oh, <laughs> you're a monkey boy. You are a monkey boy. All right. Okay. So let's see. How how do how does I'm, I'm just wondering how parry actually work how parrying actually works in this sort of situation because I'm I've been told because I've been noted to press the uh, left stick down I believe or is it the or is it one of the bumper buttons I don't know. <laughs> I do not know. Nor do I actually care to know, maybe. But otherwise... Otherwise... Ooh, ooh, thingy. 
I can cut this thing up to pieces, though. I can actually make use of blade mode, and... Looking at, you know, someone else play, like... I've been watching... Like, after I've been playing, like, several different levels of this, actually... Um... I did... I did look at, uh, the Vine Sauce playthrough. And I've seen how some of the stuff works. Some of the Zendatsu stuff works. And Blade Mode as well, so... Hopefully I can get it down in this level. If not, then I'm probably not gonna do anything with that. Owie. <laughs> Jeez, you're gonna make me waste a new ration. I'm I'm bad at video games, I'm sorry. I know I'm ter I know I'm terrible at video games, but come on man. Give me a break. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Think. Or did I get yeah, I already got him. <laughs> I already got it. It's cool. I did good. All right. So moving on. All right, catwalk. Okay. All right. Is there anything in here? I'm I'm just I'm just trying to like. <laughs> I'm just trying to like see if there's anything in everything. Because if there's anything in everything, then that's cool. Then that's really cool. Wait. What the? Heck? Oh wait. Hello. Hello, dude. Again. You are a big... You are certainly the biggest of boys. And that didn't even give me enough time after the prompt to even do that. That's actually kind of insane. Also, camera, what are you? What are you doing? Alright, gonna break this boy apart to pieces. Yeah, that... That, that kind of only does a little bit, actually. I don't know. I'll, I'll try to figure it out as I go along. Again. I'll figure it out as I go along. I'll just try to, like, run. Why are you running? I'm running because I'm running. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna have to fight them, don't I? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna have to fight... I'm gonna have to fight them. In real life. And probably just to make sure that, uh... That I don't wait. No, that's not the ration button. That's not the button. Okay. I'm not going to waste any more of my rations on anything. Because I want to save those rations for when I really, really do need them. So, I'm going to be expected to die a lot. So, there you. So there it goes. There it goes. First death of this level. So, now I'm actually going to... Now I'm actually going to try to just avoid combat altogether. Even though that's kind of not the point of this game. <laughs> that's kind of not the point. But, you know, it's whatever. It's a it's an action video game. What do you expect? Alright, so both of them over there. Okay. Try to do that. There we go. Just going to keep on... Uh, should I go over there? Or, yeah. Wait. They're going in the complete opposite directions of everything, actually. Uh, eh, forget it. I'm gonna at least try to just... Sneak. Okay, there we go. Avoided those guys. Oh, boy in the sewers. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hi. You're the remnants... You're probably maybe sort of the remnants of the Mistral Man. Actually, not really the remnants of Mistral Man, but you know what I mean. You know what the heck I mean. By Mistral Man, I mean Metal Gear Solid 4. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's just... Something. Okay. So, I think... I think that's how you're supposed to parry in, like, close, close quarters. Okay, like just do that I guess just do that at the right time I guess again learning as I go along all right hollow chip no no I don't want to activate plate mode what are you saying hello hello and goodbye you go to hell before you die that's how it is oh okay Looking out for the little guys. Okay. 
Get an achievement for that. That's great. That's cool. All right. I guess that was a section. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's go along through here. And we can proceed. really just do what I think he did. Yeah, he did. He did the vanilla ice. He did the Ninja Turtles too. Okay. So, we got these guys all over. Oh, okay. So, apparently they can do shockwaves that will paralyze you. That's fun. And ooh. Ooh. Thingies that I can cut down by using things. See, there we go. I'm getting it. I'm starting to get things. I'm starting to get I'm starting to get video games very well. Oh wait, oh wait. I'm not I'm not properly doing anything. Uh okay. Wait, wait, hold on. I need that. I need that. I need Okay. There we go. Ow, I'm getting I'm getting fricked. I'm getting fricked. Also, I saw a quick time event. Oh, there it is. There we go. Oh, and that makes him, that makes him all blue. Oh, there it is. There it is. There we go. That's how it's supposed to be done. That is how it's done, apparently. Cool. All right. I'll be getting it. All right. Let's just keep on getting these guys. Let's just keep on. Let's just keep on keeping on. All right, and apparently I'm not doing anything to him. Oh, oh, gee. Okay. There we go. All right. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep on attacking him until he's probably all blue. Okay, there he is. All blue. And there it is. There we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Just kill him. Okay. Kill. 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 Kill the power. All right. There we go. I at least said one Zendatsu. Estas bien? What you say? Oh. Me a Guyanese from Guyana. You speak. English? Uh, yeah. I'm from America. Call me Ryden. Me name George, like Georgetown. George. And just like all damn America president. Yeah. So what are you doing here? Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no. I'm looking for bad guys. Our damn Skunter Research Lab. You know about it? Me know me now go back. Hey, you're not one of them scunt, nah? Nah, I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg, you know who Day is? Sort of. What happened to you? Oh, maybe live on the street, rake and scraper above, nah? Then this Kootenai dressed like the Mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What the worst gonna happen, nah? But that mother scum don't put me on a rass boat. They pack us all a big old doji container. Next thing we know, we're here at that zombie lab. All kids like you? Yeah, a lot of boy. But then me been over here. What them scum wanna do? Snuff us out and got all day organ. So you ran. Uh huh. 
Is Shame not a bad ass robot ninja man? Same as you! Ha! <laughs> me been strongest cyborg ever! Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me! Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Just playing, nah? Me done plenty bad thing. But me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. We tried to warn the boy. I say, are you this brain gonna get cut out? Run your ass out of there! But them boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, <laughs> I need every detail about how you escaped. Oh. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? Yeah, he says the channel is super tight, but there's some kind of shutter next to it. Got it. That must be where they dump the waste. There's something else. It sounds like a Desperado exec was on site yesterday. If a sentry cyborg was on hand for the meeting... You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find a server access terminal. That would give us the evidence we need, as well as a little peek at the level of their technology. So what about the kid? I made sure the area was secure and told him to sit tight. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. Agreed. Riding out. Not to put a damper on things, though. But that is not a kid's voice. That is not a kid's voice. And technically, you could argue that, you know, DuckTales and Gravity Falls are sort of doing the same thing now. But come on, man. That's like a 12-year-old. Come on. That's like a 12-year-old, man. They're not going to make it easy to get into that lab. But, uh, either way, let's see. What do we have? Ooh, a box. Hey. How's that going to help? Oh, it's for medical supplies. That could work, actually. Hey, box the cardboard box. Didn't even think we were gonna get any one of those, but okay, cool, cardboard box. And as we all know in Metal Gear, cardboard boxes are the ultimate form of stealth. It's like destiny to be in the box. Take care of the box, and it will take care of you. Just don't do anything to the box. Don't shoot people who look like Snake that are part of boxes. Apparently it, it, <laughs> apparently it does add to just, you know, hiding from UGs and cyborgs too. So, I guess so. All right. So let's see. Ooh. Oh, we got, we got, we got more boys. We got more boys coming in. Okay. All right. Okay. Now it looks like. Well, I really, I actually really don't want to actually fight them. So I'm probably going to, probably going to get the heck out of here. <laughs> Just run. Run, boy. Run, and run, ride and run. Run, force. Oh, God. I had to, I had to fight them. Okay. Okay. I am going to have to fight the boys because they are boys and I am not one of them. I died. <laughs> Again. Oh, yeah. There we go. 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 Yeah. There we go. Zandatsu, baby. <laughs> yes. I'm actually able to do that. Yay. I'm learning. I'm learning. All right, so what if I can actually kill them from above again? Curious. I, I highly doubt it, though, because they actually did... They actually did kind of spot me, so... I can't really necessarily kill them from above now. Yeah, that's an, actually another thing that I've... I've learned about, is that uh, you can actually kill people... You can kill enemies from above. So, you know, if you're sneaking around, if you want to get a quick kill in, then you can go right ahead and get yourself a free kill from going above so yeah these guys 
these guys are kind of making my list. They are making my list of most likely, probably, definitely, yeah, definitely, least favorite things ever. Yeah, they're definitely, they're definitely being dicks. They're being dicks. Like, I have died like three times to these guys now. <laughs> and my raw file's at like 30 something, 36 minutes so far, or 36 minutes into the recording so far in this level. Because I like to do these levels all in one. I like to be like an all in one guy for this series, but. Eh. <laughs> these guys are annoying. They're like so annoying, dude. They're making me waste my rations. They're doing things. They're being gorillas. That's what they are. They're being gorillas. They're being stupid. That's not it. Stupid baby. Oh, wait. Too late. They spotted me. Of course they did. I mean, like, I guess... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's just... It's just like one of those things where it takes kind of longer than I thought. And the left stick prompts are like, they they like come up so fast. Like no matter how fast I like tap the left stick left and right, they always seem to get, they almost always seem to get their, you know, special attack off. And it's just like, uh. <laughs> Needless to say, I don't like them. I don't like them. Especially if you have to like sneak past, I guess. If you gotta sneak past, then whatever. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, thank God. Thank God. I made it. Based on the boys' information, it is marked on your Soliton radar. 